Hi, my name is Vladis Mazinovic, I'm a professor and specialist in obstetrics and gynecology. In previous videos, I explained why Rotten Diagnostic Test is so useful in diagnostic obstetrical practice, how it works, how graphical record looks like, and which numerical parameters can best describe ability of blood to clot. You can watch these videos if you click the cards in the upper part of the screen. But by using Rotten Diagnostic Test in the clinical practice, one big problem arises. When we're talking about Rotten Diagnostic Test, we are not talking about one test, but multiple tests that are done simultaneously simultaneously, which significantly increases the complexity of the test. Imagine you have only one test to deal with. Even in that situation, we have a considerable test because the parameters that we are evaluating are numerous and evaluating multiple areas of the clotting process. For example, preparation for clotting, forming the clot, and the lysis of the clot. However, if we choose to use rotten diagnostic test in clinical practice, we have to know all these tests. In this video, I will describe the rotten tests that modern devices offer. We know five rotten tests, and these are intum, heptum, extum, aptum, and fiptum. Each of these tests provides specific uh, information about a separate aspect of clotting process. The clinical interpretation of these tests are based on comparison of values, the same parameters in different tests, so we can decide on further management. Typically, intum, extum, fiptum and optum tests uh, are used and in postpartum bleeding the most useful tests are extum, optum and intum. For each test we have four questions to ask. What does this test actually evaluate? How is this test stands in relation to coagulogram parameters? How does it work? And what is special about intum test? Intum test is used as a screening test for evaluation of extrinsic pathway of coagulation process or the effect coagulation factors. 12, 11, 9, 8, 10, 5, 2, 1 and factor for Nubilobrand. The intum test is similar to APTT on coagulogram. It is formed by adding of allergic acid or phospholipid acid as an activator. The CT parameter is sensitive to heparin. Heptum test. Heptum test is used to evaluate the pathological values of CT on intum test. If a CT value on heptum normalizes, that means the heparinase in heptum test neutralizes the heparin in the patient blood. However, if there is no improvement, that means that coagulation factors are responsible for pathology. In other words, the Hepton test excludes the heparin as the cause for extended CT value. Hepton test evaluates any pathology that can arise simultaneously with heparinization of the patient, and generally we don't use this test in obstetrics. Exum test. Exum test is used as a screening test for evaluation of extrinsic pathway of coagulation. It is similar to prothrombin time. It uses tissue factor or thromboplastin as an activator. It is most sensitive to fibrinolysis. It evaluates vitamin K dependent coagulation factors 2, 7, 9 and 10. It is significantly speeds up CT because it is less sensitive to heparin. Optum test. Optum test is continuation of exum test. The optum test excludes fibrinolysis. The activation process is the same as the exum with addition of a protonin. A protonin inhibits fibrinolysis. If a ML correction occurs to exum, true hyperfibrinolysis when ML is higher than 15% is found. At this point, the CT is reduced and MCF increased compared to exum. The clot forms faster and is stronger in the absence of fibrinolysis. Then, tranexamic acid should be administered. Fiptum test. Fiptum test focuses more on, on fibrogen function. It works as isolated test for fibrogen activation. The clot depends only on formation and polymerization of fibrin. The activation is similar to extum of cytohalazine D, inhibits plated function. The resultant clot in fiptum test from clinical view is absolutely unusable, and this can be used when it MCF around 20 mm. MCF fiptum less than 9 mm indicates insufficient fibrogen level, about 25 mm indicates excess fibrogen and progulation status. The following video describes the rotten reference values for each parameter in each test. 